Oh my gosh, Laura, I am so sorry. <laughs> What's got you so engrossed? Whatever happened to legendary photographer Shane Mitchell? I was always such a fan of his and wondered why he disappeared from the art world. Shane Mitchell, I think I remember him. In his early 20s, phenomenal photographer Shane Mitchell took the art world by storm with his candid series, Passion. That's right, that was incredible. But as quickly as it gained notoriety, he just as quickly vanished. Didn't he mark his photos with some kind of signature or something? Yes, a fingerprint. It was groundbreaking. That's right. Where has he been for the past 10 years? It's hard to tell what he looks like from this picture. Wait a minute. Laura, did you finish your portfolio? Laura, these are wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot coming from a future head curator. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need to find a space. But one day, I'll proudly hang your work. In the meantime, hopefully Roxanne likes my work as much as you do and agrees to put me in the newcomer showcase. <laughs> Ladies. Where is it? <sighs> Roxanne, I brought in my portfolio for you to review for the- There'll be no reviewing anything today. We've got a huge problem with the gala. What's the matter? Philip has decided our roster of artists is not up to his standards. He wants an A-lister. And since he is this gallery's biggest underwriter, it means we either find a star or we find new jobs. Um, what about Jessica Tammer? She's... She just showed in New York and Philip wants a premiere. Right. Oh, um, there's also Christopher Henson. He's under contract with the gallery in Los Angeles. Maybe we could find new underwriters? The Minton family has been this gallery's underwriter for generations. I can't be the curator who lost them. Shane Mitchell. Did you say something? Mm -mm. Well, I better make some calls. Do not disturb me unless it's an emergency. <sighs> Roxanne, we're gonna get you a muffin to go with that coffee. Blueberry, please. Uh, okay. What is going on? You tell me. I've known you long enough to know that there's something on your mind. I don't understand. I'm gonna try and find Shane Mitchell and get him to premiere new work at the gala. The same Shane Mitchell that's been in hiding and the same gala that's in two weeks? Exactly. Coming on the heels of this article and premiering new work after 10 years, it'd be a coup. Yes, but nobody knows where he is. Well, according to the article, he could be running a coffee shop in Newton, Oregon. That's only two towns away. But it also says he could be in the middle of the ocean with Greenpeace rescuing whales or somewhere in Mexico City. I know you love this gallery. I have to try, Stacy. I can't just sit back and do nothing. Besides, what's the harm in seeking off to Newton for a few hours? I don't know. Will you cover for me at least? Please? For the record, I think this is crazy. But if anyone can do it, you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm sure he was a great photographer, but my name is Mitch, not Shane M Mitchum. Oh, M Mitchell. Look, the only photos I take are of my dog. <laughs> you got it. Another reporter. <sighs> It'll die down. It always does when something bigger and better comes along. Is that the mail? Mostly bills, unfortunately. Why'd you say your name was Mitch? Throws him off the scent. And you don't tell them who you are because? Because I don't want to have to deal with all the questions that come along with that. Why'd you stop taking photographs? Why a coffee shop? Will you ever start again? Will you? Look, I'm just not that guy anymore, OK? Besides. We have real work to do figuring out how to bring in more customers. Why do you pretend to have a dog? <laughs> <laughs> because if I'm gonna have to deal with them calling me, I think I should be able to have a little bit of fun. Now let's talk business. 
I've had a few thoughts, actually. What's this? Just some ideas, promotions, advertising options, ways to hopefully entice the customer. It's just a start. Wow, good work. Thanks, Jensen. <laughs> Six coffee shops in one town? Here we go. Hi there, how can I help you? Yes, thank you. I'll have a, uh... Coffee? No! I mean, yes, please. You know, you're shaking your head, no. Am I? Do you have anything without caffeine? Decaf? Maybe just something cold, thirst quenching. Water? Yes! Sorry, just a little too much caffeine on an empty stomach. Help yourself. Hey, why don't you have a seat? Free of charge. Eat. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's delicious. Did you bake it? I did. Might be the best muffin I've ever tasted. Thanks, but I think you're just starving and over-caffeinated. <laughs> Does a Shane Mitchell happen to work here? No. No. Sorry. Figures. Why are you looking for him, if you don't mind me asking? I had some half-baked idea. He's a photographer who's kind of hiding out. I thought if I could find him, I could convince him to premiere new work at this wonderful little gallery I work for. We need a star for our upcoming gala. A star, huh? Except he's probably in the middle of the Atlantic riding a humpback whale. I'm sorry? The more I think about it, he's pretty overrated anyway. I mean, he had a couple of successful shows, all with candids. But anyone can get lucky with candids. You click the shutter enough times, you're bound to get a good shot eventually. Still lifes? That's what I do. Those take skill. Preparation. Compositional talent. That's the real art. Okay. Well... Nice talking to you. Enjoy your muffin. You know, this is just my opinion and all, but I don't think candidates are as easy as you think they are. <laughs> and with still lifes, you have total control over your elements. You don't have to do anything on the fly or rely on your instincts. Some would say that requires a lot less talent. How did you... It's you! You're Shane Mitchell! He's Shane Mitchell, isn't he? Uh, okay. Yes, I'm Shane Mitchell. I'm so glad I found you. Now you can do the show and the gallery won't have to close. Yeah, whoa! I'm not doing any show. I don't take photographs anymore. At all. At all? Not in ten years. Sorry, I'm not your guy. He's telling the truth. Oh. 
You're still here. I was thinking, 10 years is a long time. It could be a comeback show. I thought I was overrated. I never said that. Click the shutter enough times and you're bound to get a good shot eventually. That was just the caffeine coursing through my system. You can't hold that against me. Who are you? Laura Dillon. And what, you're a curator or something? Goodness, no. I'm an assistant at the gallery and a photographer. So your boss sent you here to... No, she doesn't know I'm here. I was gonna surprise her once I found you and you agreed. Wait. There's money in this gala thing? Yes, collectors. Rich collectors will buy his work. They'll buy your work. They'll buy your work with money. But I don't take photographs anymore, so there's no work to buy. Couldn't you use the extra cash? Doesn't seem like you have much going on here. You're insulting my shop now. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that it's only two weeks of your life. Two weeks? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't put together a show in two weeks. I'm not your star. So unless you want that muffin recipe, you should go. You're serious? Yes, I am. Send a message to Stacy. I found him, but I'm gonna need your help tomorrow. Enjoy. You know, I'm actually considering getting a dog. Really? People like dogs, like a canine coffee shop mascot. Maybe to help bring in some customers. Oh, I got it. Shane! Is he inside? Yeah. Yes, sounds good. Bye. Hi, I'm Stacy. It's an honor to meet you. Your passion series, your use of texture along with the contrast of black and white, it all came together in such a breathtaking way. Wow, thank you. <laughs> good to know you're friends with someone who has good taste. So, you wanna let me know what's going on with all this? I have a proposal. Well, kind of a bet, actually. A contest. Right. Part bet, part contest. Go on. We each take one photo. Just one shot of anything in the shop. But I don't take pictures anymore. Do this with me today. Only one shot, and we'll get some neutral parties to pick their favorite. And if they pick mine, you agree to do the gala. But again, I don't take photographs anymore. And if they pick yours, you'll never have to see me again. Now that's intriguing. And if I say no to this proposition? Then you'll see me every day, all day, until the day of the gala. Laura is pretty tenacious. Why are you so stuck on this? Because this is a mutually beneficial opportunity for you in the gallery. And because I believe there's still a photographer in you, whether you see it or not. Plus, if the gallery stays open, she'll have a shot at the newcomer showcase. It's true. Regardless, my gut tells me that despite your obstinance and arrogance... Arrogance? ...that you're the guy to make this gala a success. And I always listen to my gut. Hmm. One shot. Of anything in here, and you'll go away? Mm hmm I'll even do a candid. Because you're probably pretty rusty. I'll have you know, I can take a great still life. I just always chose not to. Hmm. So, it's a bet? Fine. But I need my equipment downstairs. Okay. 
Let's do this. Is that a digital camera? It is. Why? Can't use digital. It's too much about the technology, not about the art. You lose all the intricate details. That may have been true 10 years ago, but the technology has come a very long way. And I like the ability to change film speeds on the fly. And these days, filters can be built in. Plus, you can be sure you get the shot you need. Oh, well, yeah taking our photos and you're bound to get a good one eventually. I said that once. Fine. Do you bring over the light stand, please? Sure. <laughs> what now? Just all that equipment. Looks like you're filming a movie or building a spaceship. It does not. Hey, Shane, what are you doing here? A little movie or something? Uh, we're having a little photo contest. Oh, no way. You take photographs? I used to. Beautiful once. Oh. Got your usual coming up? Hey. You should stick around. We're going to vote which one we like once they're finished. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people here, though. Want me to call up some buds? Sure. Sweet, I got you. <laughs> He's our one regular. Oh. Yeah. Jensen, may I have one of those delicious muffins, please? Yeah. Add it to her tab. He's kidding. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Mostly. blowing out my shot. It was ruining it. Really? Natural light was ruining your shot. Use a polarized filter or change up the ISO. I prefer having control of my atmosphere. Art isn't control. In fact, a photo is a moment in time captured, not a moment manipulated. Hey, guys, let's be nicer to the blinds, OK? We can't afford new ones. I'm a creative. I create. What you do is essentially copy. I copy? <laughs> you know, my sister's wedding photographer used a lot of natural light. See? People love natural light. That sounds wonderful for weddings. I heard that. OK, OK, OK. Shane, since you need the light, why don't you take your photo first? Then after he's done, Laura, you go. Deal? Fine. Fine by me. She's good. <laughs> and... Done. <sighs> yep. That's the one. Right there. How will you develop it, though? I stored my stuff in the basement. Give me 15 minutes. Anybody want me to refresh their drinks? Yeah, please. While we wait for the final results?
Okay, welcome to the first ever STEAM photo contest. We need your help. I always say it's not the artist that determines whether the art is great, it's good people like you. So, take a look and cast your vote. Well, it was really close, but the winner of the first STEAM photo contest is... Laura. What are you doing? My happy dance. Oh, I have to call Roxanne. Laura, where are you? I'm in Newton. Newton, why? Because I found Shane Mitchell here and he's agreed to premiere new work at the gala. That is just incredible. What? If I'm gonna be working for her, I'd like a word. Roxanne, Shane would like to speak with you. Of course, put him on. Hi. Shane, I can't tell you what a wonderful surprise it is to have you headline our gala. I'm so glad. But look, if I'm gonna do this in only two weeks, I'm gonna need an assistant. Oh, yes, of course. Shane, can I ask you to please put me on speakerphone? Sure. Wonderful. Laura, congratulations. You get to be Shane's assistant for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry, his assistant? You know our budget is tight, and Stacy can cover for you here. Oh, and do a good job. We can definitely get you in that newcomer showcase. Really? The newcomer showcase? Really. Keep me updated. OK. <laughs> Looks like you need me. Sounds like you need me. See you tomorrow morning, early. everything today. I was happy too. <laughs> Something good? Yes. It's just this new artist I found. She's got great instincts. I think she's gonna have quite the career. That's what you told me when you first saw my work and helped me get the assistant job at the gallery. Yes. And now you're finally gonna show your work. <laughs> Which reminds me. What's this? It's a listing for a rental space. The square footage might be a bit small, but it just might work for an intimate gallery. Thank you. Laura, make the most of this with Shane. I know he can be a little prickly, but you never know what you can learn. Speaking of, I should probably get some sleep. We're meeting early. <laughs> Call me after it's done. I can't wait to hear about it. I promise. I thought you were here to help me. I'm multitasking. Multitasking? Far be it from me to give up an opportunity to learn from someone with greater experience than I. Did you rehearse that? A little bit. Come on, digital. for where we are. We're in the woods. I know we're in the... Are your 
eyes closed? By not relying on my eyesight, I can get a sense of where the best photograph might be. My sense of the light, the environment around me is more detailed. That sparks my intuition. Where are you going? No good shots on the trail. I want to be in the woods, not beside them. You can stay here, but I'm going. Suddenly, he's Ansel Adams. What'd you say? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Sure. What made you stop taking photographs all those years ago? Shane? Would you pass me the telephoto, please? Oh, yeah, sure. What are you doing? The light is so perfect. Look how peaceful that woman is. Like, everything in her world is perfect. And I can capture that by blurring the background, and capturing the bouquet. You could do that on the computer in post. That's one way of doing it. Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Multitasking, I get it. <laughs> well, it's a relief to get something on the first day out. Oh, we haven't gotten anything yet. This is just practice. I need to get a sense of things again. What? It's been 10 years. And besides, I'll need a theme. Can't just be a mishmash of photos. I need a through line. So you never mentioned what you thought about my photo from the contest. It was good. You definitely know how to set up a shot. But? I don't know. It, it was cold, unemotional. It's a still life. Yes, but it's still life, right? For example, you said you love composition. And while your photograph was composed beautifully, had the beans spilled out into the photograph instead of just scattered around it, it would have given the print more life, more feeling. Setting it up your way felt controlled and clean somehow. And it was a little overexposed. I think we're going in the wrong direction. You shouldn't have asked my opinion It's not if... that. It's the map. It's showing that the trail is that way. But our car is that way. But our car is at the beginning of the trail that way. Well, I'm not going that way. Fine. We'll each go our own way. Fine by me. Two more weeks of his nonsense. So arrogant and irritating. Ah! Am I? I mean, it's not like I just fell into photography. Maybe I know what I'm talking about. Yes! Victory! Are you this frustrating with everyone, or is it just with me? What can I say? You bring it out of me. Just get in the car. Hey, boss. I'm heading out. Oh, okay, man. Good night. Those yours? Uh, no. No, uh, that's Loris, you know, from the contest. All right. Nice. Yeah, 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 I guess. <laughs> Which reminds me, Stacy was saying we should make an impromptu gallery on the walls in the shop. I could even create a social media campaign around it to try to help 
bring more customers into the coffee shop. Hmm? Okay. That sounds good. Okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night. You too, man. about these walls of yours. Good morning to you, too. Morning, Jensen. Is Shane around? I'm here. Good morning. What's this? I brought a little gift oh. for you both. This is from an up-and-coming photographer that I've been following, and she jumped at the chance for it to be hung on your wall, if that's OK with you. You don't want it for your gallery? Well, Roxanne is a bit timid about new artists. She wants someone with more experience and cred. And me, on the other hand, I love being right at the start of someone's career. Which is why your gallery will be so incredible. But until then, there are still many budding artists that deserve some attention. So, can I hang it on your wall? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the gallery wall is all yours. Great. <laughs> We better get going. Where to today? Getting lost in a corn maze? <laughs> the park, actually. Huh. You approve? I do. <laughs> so I was thinking about you last night. You were? I was thinking I'd like to get you to try my camera. I'm on a mission. Shouldn't your mission be about taking those photos for the gala? I'm multitasking. <laughs> Not much going on here, huh? Come on, digital. Don't give up so easily. I'm sure with all that modern technology, you'll find something. See, what you see is dull. I see it's harmonious, if you do your job right. You can capture it without getting in the way of it. Wow! This castle is amazing! Do you mind if I build an extension? Go ahead, have fun. Sure. Can I snap some pictures? Yeah, absolutely. Don't mind her. She's just trying to steal our building techniques. Mm-hmm. I got some great photos with this impressive castle. Only this guy wasn't ruining our shots. Guess we'll have to use some photo editing magic. See, that's what I'm talking about. You fix things after the fact. That is an art. I'm not fixing anything. I'm elevating it. You're changing it. Hey, stop fighting in my castle. Sorry. OK. I think it's looking pretty good. Hmm. Something is missing, though. How are all the people going to get across that amazing moat and into the castle? I'm stumped. Well, that's perfect. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Shane, a happy dance. Thank you for letting us join you. Our work here is done, oh great king of sandcastles. High five. <laughs> Thank you for all your help today. That was fun. Of course. I've got some great shots. Uh, are you hungry? Do you want to stay for a takeout? Sure. But first, come take a look at this photo. Tell me it isn't great. The color just pops, and look at the clarity of the image. You know, I have a lens that you'd really like. Let me go find it. OK. Have a look around. Make yourself at home.
What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I just happened to find the slide projector and I got curious. They're incredible, by the way. Um, I don't think I'm hungry anymore. Actually, it's getting pretty late. Oh. Okay. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I understand. Just, let's just call it. Sure. Okay. I wanted to apologize about last night. I was out of line. You were out of line. Those photos you saw are really old, and I hadn't seen them in a long time. They brought up feelings I haven't felt in a while. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Curiosity just took over. And those images are beautiful, especially the one of the smiling man. Do you think we can still work together? I would love that. Good. Because I really need your help for this next part. What's that? I've decided on a theme. What is it? Happy dancing. Really? There's something about it. It's like our inner child comes out every once in a while to play. I really want to capture that purity for the show. And I can't do it without your help. What do you think? I love it. It's perfect. So, a reset? Reset. I just can't seem to get the lighting right. Do me a favor, take a look, and I'll stand in frame. You're right. It's a little underexposed on your left side. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll try a reflector. I'll be right back. this? Just take a look. Perfect. See? <laughs> Sometimes you need to create the moment. I think we're ready. <laughs> What's all this? Hi. Um... Today we're taking photos of everyone in the community doing their best happy dance. Would you like to participate? Oh, I haven't danced in forever. Well, this isn't just dancing. This is that Christmas morning moment. You know when you were a kid and you got the perfect gift and you couldn't help but show your excitement through your whole body? Do you have any moments like that? When I finished my first triathlon right after knee surgery. That's amazing. How did that make you feel?
What are these prints? Oh, I developed some old photos of mine for some practice. Get my sense for the process again. I always wondered how you did the fingerprint. Well, have you ever worked in a dark room before? No, actually. Well, do you want me to show you? Please. The first and most important thing you need to know is that film photography takes time. It's a respect and a connection you create with your photo, both physically and emotionally. It's not about getting it done fast. It's about getting it right. Ruin it? No, we're just all wet. Sorry. That's okay. That's why we wear aprons. Now what? Now we leave the room and let the print dry. How about a walk? And ice cream? My treat? Even better. Are you interested in opening store? No, not me. Okay, because I do know the owner. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you again for taking me through the developing process, especially the fingerprint part. It feels like I'm in on a little secret. <laughs> you know, that fingerprint actually isn't mine. It's my dad's. He came up with the idea and taught me how to do it. You still use the same one? I do. You got me in a photography, so. Well, he must be really proud of what you've accomplished. He. Remember that picture you found in my house? The one of the smiling man? Is that your dad? I took that at a surprise party we threw from a little over 10 years ago. Well, based on that photo, looks like he loved it. He did. He passed soon after. Oh. Shane, I'm so sorry. Those photos were supposed to be part of an album I was making for him. But I never got the chance to give it to him. Oh. You asked me why I stopped taking photographs. The love for photography was something that I always shared with my dad. And after he passed, I just couldn't find that love again. I just decided my photography days were behind me. And then you burst through my door. And now here we are. You know, maybe photography is a way for you to keep your dad's memory and all the time you spent with him alive. I like that. That's 
really nice. There you guys are. You planning on a mural now? Well, not a mural. I wanted to make your gallery official with a proper sign. The artists I'm bringing deserve it. What will it say exactly? Steam Gallery. That does make it official. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Great. Take a brush. <laughs> Okay, I think it's ready. It's perfect. <laughs> Where have you been off to? Grabbing something special for our gallery. You said you'd want to highlight work from up-and-comers? There you go. I always said I'd be proud to hang your work. Now, let's hang it over there. Thank you. What exactly are we doing here? I was hoping to get your opinion. On? Whether this gallery space is right for you. Now, I know it's not in the city, but Newton does have a budding art scene, and the rent is cheaper here. And Shane knows the owner, so I bet he'll put in a good word for you. You talked to Shane about this? No, not yet. I wanted to speak with you first. Stacy, with all the work you do for new artists, it's time you get your own space. We up-and-comers need curators like you advocating for us. You've grown, Laura, not just in your work, but you. Assisting Shane has taught me so much. Even if we disagree on style or something, I'm looking at my work in a whole new way. I can see that. Just make sure you keep looking at your work. What do you mean? You've blossomed since becoming Shane's assistant. I just hope you know how much your input makes his work better. So that when your partnership ends, you know that it wasn't all him. It was you too. I hadn't really thought beyond these two weeks. Don't get me wrong, you know how good of an opportunity I think this is with Shane. I just want you to have all the success you deserve. Wasn't I supposed to be the one helping you? <laughs> so? I don't know. It has possibilities. I just have to think about it. Do you want to take a look? Yes. <laughs> latte with one sugar. How did you know? I'm in the business of knowing people's coffee orders. <laughs> oh, I love it here. It's so peaceful. It was, before this energetic photographer came and riled things up. Is that what I did? You certainly changed things, that's for sure. Well, hopefully it's a good thing. Ask me again in a few days. <laughs> Something on your mind? I don't know. I was staring at my print, and I realized... You're right. My work is cold. Listen, when I said that, I didn't know... No, you. no, you were right. I can't ask people to connect with prints that I myself are disconnected from, you know? I do. But don't let that discourage you. It's not, honestly. It's kind of exciting in a way. Not that it won't be challenging, but I'm eager to figure it out, because I know once I do, my work will only get better. 
you know, the technical side of photography was always very difficult for me. <laughs> That's funny. That part was always easy for me. The emotional part was always a real hurdle. Why do you think that is? I've been thinking about that. I think it's because I moved around a lot as a child. My father was in the military, so every few years he'd get assigned someplace new. And I wasn't shy, but I hated being the new girl all the time. My parents bought me a camera one Christmas, and I just loved it. And with still lifes, I could focus on inanimate objects instead of something or someone I might have to say goodbye to. And now here I am pulling you out of hiding, only to discover that I was kind of hiding out as well. Oh, we can come out of hiding together. <laughs> Can't believe the gala is in three days. So do you think you'll continue? Taking photographs, I mean? Well, someone's gonna have to keep the gallery walls full. That's true. Well, it's late. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Then I guess it's good night. I'll see you tomorrow, Shane. See you tomorrow. Bye. That's everything. <sighs> How are you feeling? I don't know. I think this is the first moment I've really had to absorb the fact that I'm gonna be showing work. I'm gonna be a photographer again. Well, for what it's worth, I'm glad you get to share your talent with the world again. What? I'm going to be right back. A little thank you gift. Shane, you didn't have to. I was going to wait till the gala, but I think maybe now is better. Well, it's just the two of us. I don't know what to say. I do. Thank you, Laura. When you first showed up all wired and jittery, I thought, who is this woman? And now I know you to be kind, smart, talented. And I can't wait to see your work in the Newcomer Showcase. Just Stacy checking in. I guess I'll see you at the gala. Uh, yeah, um, I'll get those. Yeah, you take the gift. Thanks. Ladies, have you got everything? We do. Great. Laura, you'll stay here and manage the gallery. Stacy, I need you to come with me. We've got back to back meetings, so I'll need you for backup. No problem. I can man the front. Hi. Welcome to the corner gallery. What brings you in today? Uh, hello, uh, I'm, my name's Michael. Uh, my friend Philip Minton told me that Shane Mitchell would be premiering new work. Yes, that's right, at our upcoming gala. Oh, wow, that is incredible. I, I'm an art collector myself and such a fan of his work. Uh, Philip mentioned I could get a little preview because I'll be leaving town tomorrow. Well, previews typically are not allowed, but Philip sent you? Mm, he did, yes. Uh, are you the curator, Roxanne? I'm not. I'm Laura. Roxanne just stepped out. Hmm. Just a moment. Hi. 
Hi, it's Roxanne. Leave a message. My boss isn't answering. Hmm. But if Mr. Minton told you to come, I'm sure it'll be okay to show you a few of the prints. That would be great, thanks. Oh, thank you so much. I can't tell you how excited I am that Shane is back. You and me both. He's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Spread the word. Will do. Shane, can you help the customer? Shane? Oh, I'm sorry. How can I help you? Hey, Shane. I just got an internet alert on my phone about you. What are you gonna do? I'm calling Laura. <sighs> no answer? I got a call from Shane. Have you spoken with him? Uh, no, I just missed his call. Did you give someone a preview of his work? I did, just a few pictures. He said he was sent by Philip to check. He wasn't. He is a reviewer. Uh, what did Shane say? Once you read the review, you'll have an idea of what Shane said. Well, what can we do? I don't know. But if we don't figure this out, then the corner gallery will not be premiering Shane's work. Well, I'll be lucky if this gala happens at all. Hi, I'm calling from the Steam Gallery. I'm the curator here, and we have a new show coming up. I was wondering if I could get the number of your art critic. I think his name is Michael. He'll be in tomorrow morning at around eight. Okay, thank you. Hi. You, uh, sorry, I can't talk right now. Please, there has to be something we can do to fix this. It's a review, some are good, some are bad. I'm sorry, I just wrote what I thought. Shane's work was disappointing and superficial. Don't you remember your happiest moments? Can you truly say that those moments were superficial? <laughs> to go from passions to happy dances. It, it was like the work of a commercial photographer trying to sell me something. Like, his passion series, that made me feel something. Look, I'm sorry, I have a deadline. Please, this is a huge opportunity for Shane and for the gallery and for me even. I can't screw this up. I'm sorry, okay? But if I'm not early on a story, then I'm late. And then no one cares what I have to talk about, and then I don't get the likes and the shares and the numbers to prove my worth as a journalist. So I have to create my stories, then I have to break them early. That's just how it works these days. Well, that sounds awful. It is, actually. You know, I used to be able to take the time to think about a show a little. These days, nobody wants anything to take time. You're right. But you lied to me. You saw those prints under false pretenses. So you kind of might just owe me five minutes of your time. Plus, I got the best donuts in all of Portland. You went to Coffee Amour? I even got there early enough. There's small batch coffee roasters donuts with the salted toffee and... And the dark chocolate ganache and organic sprinkles? That's the one. That's an $8 donut. Now you know I'm serious. Five minutes. Mm. 
You know the show might be canceled now. Because of one review? Should he have stayed in hiding? He needs a thicker skin than that. The only happy dance I did was leaving the venue. Okay, maybe that one was a little harsh. A little? Mm. The thing is, you only saw one small part of the show, and it was out of context. I saw enough. But the collection is meant to be judged as a full story. And you briefly looked at three pictures under false pretenses and out of order. And so no wonder you thought the images were of an ad, because you didn't take the time to appreciate the story and the humanity of each print. And I know you need to be fast, but wouldn't you also want to be fair? Here's what I can do. I will print a retraction, but I will also be there on opening night. And I can't promise a favorable review after that, no matter how many donuts you show up with. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. I've spoken with our PR team. He's and pulling the review. I don't believe that when I see it. Look. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> How did you manage that? I appealed to his integrity. And he's promised to come to the gala to review Shane's work properly. The show's still on, right? I'm not so sure, to be frank. Philip was not happy about that article. And who knows what this reporter will say, even when he does see the complete collection. His mind might be made up no matter how many more prints he sees. I understand. Pulling it now might be for the best. For the best? Why do you still have that? It reminds me of where we started and how incredible it's all been. How I found you and you agreed. I lost a bet. He lost a bet? That doesn't matter now. And you didn't try to get out of it, which you very well could have. And you'd be lying if you said to me that you didn't have fun. So? Well, if Roxanne agrees to move forward with this, uh, so do I then. Roxanne, for what it's worth, I really do believe Michael's gonna give Shane's work a fresh chance. And I know there's no guarantee, but I really think we have something special here. Something fresh and inspiring and hopeful. Okay, we can move forward as planned, but the future of this gallery may depend on you being correct in your thinking. Hey. Hey. I'm proud of you. Why? For getting behind all the work you did with Shane. And I think you'll be proud of me too. Why is that? Because I called the owner of the space in Newton and we're set to meet tomorrow. I know it's the day of the gala, but it's the only time we can meet in the next two weeks. Oh, it's okay. I'll cover for you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Ladies, since we are moving ahead, we've got a lot to do to catch up on if we're gonna be ready in time. We can do it. You two have to do it. I have meetings all day. Don't worry, we can handle this. Absolutely, we won't let you down. And thank you, Roxanne. Hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Go home? I don't think I was wearing this yesterday. Maybe we sleepwalked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get us some coffee. Yes, please.
right, wonderful. No, of course I can make the time. Bye-bye. That was Jillian Dumont. You switched the... the photo. What photo? The finale photo, the one that will be revealed at the end of the night. Oh, right, yes. You and Stacy left off the best print of the bunch. That man has a happy dance in his eyes. But Roxanne, that photo wasn't meant for- I can't talk about this right now. Jillian Dumont, the head of the Dumont Trust, is willing to meet with me, but only if it's in the next 15 minutes. And then I have back-to-back -back meetings before I get all gussied up for tonight. But Roxanne, that print was a gift. You can't use it. It was here with the other prints. Because I- Laura, you know how much is riding on this gala being a success. Philip has been on the verge of defunding us. I have been on the verge of pulling Shane's collection entirely. But that print is what I believe best ensures our chance at a successful show. And that is more important than anything else. But Shane didn't. Shane wants this show to be a success just as much as we do. Now, I have to go. But understand this, Laura. It's not just the newcomer's showcase that you have riding on this. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Anybody here? Oh, no. Shane? It's stunning, Shane. The emotion you've captured in that man, it emanates from the print. I was relieved to find it among the other photos. When that reporter sees this in the finale, I have no doubt he'll be as moved as I am. And you know how much the gallery needs a positive review. Shane! I was impressing your boss that important to you? I told Roxanne that it was a Why was it with the other prince? I thought you knew what that photo meant to me. We can tell her that it wasn't meant And for... risk the gallery? You heard Roxanne. I can't be responsible for the gala failing. And the only reason we're stuck in this position in the first place is because you left the print there for her to find. I know. It was a mistake. You know what? It's done. Let's just get through the gala and be done. Are you okay? That was his gift to me. I knew what it meant to him. He's right. I, I shouldn't have left it out like that. Hey, go easier on yourself. But you have to admit that Roxanne does have a point. That print is perfect for the finale. Not you, too. I'm sorry. This just isn't your ordinary gala. Our livelihoods are at stake. Don't you care about that? Of course I do. But at what cost? My integrity? Shane's privacy? Trust me, Shane will forgive you after the gala and once he's gotten the money that he needs. And if he doesn't? Your job was to help make the show as good as possible. This print does that. No, I don't accept that. I'm going to fix this. I have to get to that meeting in Newton. But Laura, remember, you're finally getting your shot. Don't do something rash to jeopardize that. Hey, we clean up nice, huh? I guess so. You know, Jensen, you really stepped up here. I wouldn't have completed my project unless I had full confidence in you running things here. Which is why I think you're ready to be manager. Really? Really. You've earned it. <laughs> and no matter what happens tonight, I think I'd like to continue exploring photography again. And that means I need a good manager here. I won't let you down. I know. Well, we better go. Hey, uh, 
I'm sorry about everything with Laura. Me too. But I think it's time to move on. Well, we better go. I promised Roxanne I wouldn't be late. seen her. I'm not sure. I haven't spoken with her since earlier today. Well, she better show. This is a big moment for her. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Good. You're here finally. I know it's late. I'm sorry. How's it going? Well, so far, so good. I haven't seen that reviewer, but we've already sold four pieces. Wow, that's great. And Philip seems cautiously optimistic. Michael is here, the reviewer. Michael, you came. Well, I made a promise to uh, view the full exhibit, so that's what I'm here to do. Roxanne, this is Michael Allen, the art critic who... Uh, yes. Roxanne Bridges, curator. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Laura made a compelling case. Please have a look around, but first, let me introduce you to the artist behind the show, uh, Shane. I'd like you to meet Michael Allen. He's one of the art critics from the Portland Daily. Shane Mitchell, uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming tonight. Nice to meet you, too. Michael, why don't we start just over here? Shane, can we step outside? I would like to explain. I was given strict instructions by Roxanne to mingle. Fine. I'll tell you here. There's nothing left to tell me, Laura. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Corner Gallery's 20th anniversary gala. As I've told many of you, I have always been a huge fan of Shane Mitchell's work. Emotional, poignant, and so very human. He's a master at his craft, and we are honored to be a stop on his artistic journey. I could go on and on about Shane's work, but why don't we hear from the artist himself? Shane. Your last collection, as we all remember, was Passion. How did you go from that to Happy Dancing? Why Happy Dancing? While it may seem lighter, even sillier on its face, the infectious joy in a happy dance is a feeling that grows so powerful it engages your whole body. So even though it might seem superficial, the feeling is just as deep and intense as passion is. Trust me, even observing a happy dance can be quite contagious to your spirit. But in truth, like passion, joy too can be fleeting as if the body lets go of the feeling bit by bit with every movement. So as a photographer, it was important that I capture that peak moment in time, knowing that it's unrealistic for it to last. Beautifully explained, Shane. You're not leaving, are you? I just needed a moment, but I should get back inside before they get to the finale. Listen, about earlier, 
You needed an ear and support and... It's okay. No. I'm sorry. Thank you. How are you doing? I'd rather hear about how your meeting in Newton went. <sighs> he loved the idea. And apparently, Shane had put in a good word for me, which I think you had something to do with. I didn't say anything that wasn't deserved. Did you get it? Daisy! <laughs> That's so wonderful. I am so happy for you. I have so many ideas. I am so proud of you, Stacy. Thank you. And thank you for telling me about the place. I don't think I would have considered a place outside the city had it not been for you. Hey, and if you ever need an assistant, you know where to find me. <laughs> okay, let's go back inside. We don't want to miss the finale. Okay. And now, to a finale piece that I believe beautifully complements this stunning collection, so skillfully put together by the fabulous Shane Mitchell, with the invaluable help of Corner Gallery's own Laura Dillon. So, without further ado, I bring you the finale to Happy Dance. So here we have a, a mirror, which is a, 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 re a reflection of a... How true happy dances are the most joyful when they come from within. I had the wonderful opportunity to assist Shane on this collection. When I was working on it, I reflected on the things that make me truly happy. Whether those things are temporary or last forever, I've realized that I will always be grateful for them, no matter what. So, we thought there's no better way to close out the show than by having you all reflect and find your own inner happy dance. Did you know she was gonna do that? Shane, I need you to meet Jillian Dumont. She's late, but given her millions, she's allowed to be. Philip, would you like to meet the star of your show? Shane, I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're welcome. And congratulations on an outstanding show. Do you have plans for a follow-up? He does. He'll be regularly showing his new work at the newly named Steam Cafe Coffee Shop and Gallery. That's an interesting idea. A nice melding of art and commerce. Yeah, we thought so too. I'm just happy to be photographing again. Let's talk Monday. Get a head start on next year's gala. I would love that. Great. <laughs> Do you excuse me? Shane. Hi. Hi. Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to give you this. I thought you left. I did. But I didn't know when I was going to see you again, and I just wanted to make sure you got this back. It doesn't feel right to keep it. Wait. I can't believe what you did for me. You were right. I never should have left your gift out like that. You risked so much. Well, I didn't want you to think that I didn't care about your print or that I didn't understand how meaningful it was. You risked your chance in getting in the showcase? You risked your job going against Roxanne? Well, I had to make it right. 
And I know I'll be okay, no matter what happens. Laura. I've never met anyone like you. You're exuberant, determined, brave, curious. And I'm so glad you found me. Shane, the truth is, I couldn't risk losing your trust. I couldn't risk losing you. I've spent so long trying to capture the perfect moment, but I've never come this close. This is happening. Seems so. Okay. Well then, let me add to your good news. The gamble paid off. Michael's review is out, and we're a hit. Oh, and Laura, make sure you bring your portfolio on Monday. We have much to discuss about the newcomer showcase. Thanks, Roxanne. We're a hit. So we are.